Welcome back. This next section is on scientific notation. So that's 4.3. All right. Basically, um, let's write this down. Scientific notation is a compact way compact way for representing very large and very small numbers. Very large and very small numbers. Okay, so basically, um, if you wanted to represent a very large number, so let's write this down: eight comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero, and let's add three more zeros to it. So this would be like eight billion. All right. So instead of writing an eight with uh, nine zeros, this is the same as writing it in scientific notation as 8.0 times 10 to the ninth power. Okay? So that's a very large uh, number. Now one thing I want you to notice is that this exponent is positive. So when you have a positive exponent in scientific notation, you know the number will be larger than 1, a very large number, okay? When you have a small number, you can write it in scientific notation. So let's say, you know, you're doing a very small measurement of something, and the measurement ends up being, let's say, with four zeros, and... 379 here. So 0 0.00003379. Okay. Well, we can represent this small number in scientific notation as 3.79 times 10 to the negative fifth power. Okay. Again, I want you to notice here the exponent is negative. Okay. You have a negative exponent. So that means that the number you're dealing with is going to be very small. It's going to be a number smaller than 1. Okay? So positive exponents in exponential notation means large numbers, basically a number bigger than 1. And, <coughs> excuse me, uh, for very small numbers, the exponent is going to be negative, and it's going to be a number that's less than 1. Okay? So let's look at the format for scientific notation. Let's have a little scribble here. I was testing out my pen. It's giving me a little bit of uh, issues. So um, this is the format that you want scientific notation is uh, scientific notation in. Okay. So it's a positive number. written in scientific notation when it is written issue here. When it is written in 
in the form n times 10 to the nth power. So this is a capital N and this is a little n for the exponent. So where 1 is less than or equal to n less than 10. Okay, and that's important. And n, the little n, is an integer, meaning it's a going to be a whole number, right? Okay. So, let's go back and t pay attention to this right here. So if we look at our first two examples over here, the values of large n right here, notice that they're between 1 and 10. So it can equal 1, but it can't equal 10, right, according to the definition. So you never want these values here, okay, to be greater than 10 or less than 1. Okay. The other thing that we noticed is that the exponent itself will always be an integer value. Okay, and that's what you have to pay attention to. So let's just go ahead and just do some examples. I mean, it's really not a difficult concept. So let's go ahead and express. Oops, let's express. Um, each value in scientific notation. Okay. So let's try this one. 290,000. All right. So basically here we know this is a large number, a number greater than 1, right? And we definitely know that our exponent is going to end up being positive. So what you have to do is you'd say, okay, well, where is the decimal on this value right now? Well, the decimal is really right here, right? So I have to move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, five places to get it to read 2.9, okay? So remember this value of n, remember right here, has to be between 1 and 10. And it can equal 1, but it can't equal 10, all right? <coughs> so now we go times 10, well, to what exponent? Well, we moved it over 1, 2, 3, for five places, so it's going to be to the fifth power. Okay? Now, some people like remembering, well, if I move the decimal to the left, that means it's going to be a positive exponent. If I move it uh, to the right, it's going to be a negative exponent. I just like remembering that when it's a large number greater than one, the exponent's going to be positive. So you don't have to worry about, did I move it left? Did I move it right? Okay? All right, so let's do another one. Let's say we have this large number. So we have 7, 0, 0, 7, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. All right? So I think that's, I believe, a trillion, 7 trillion, 7 uh, million. Or, sorry, uh, what is it? Yeah, 7 trillion, 7 million. Um, okay, so. We know the decimal is actually right here, right? So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's going to be, I'll just put times 10 to the 9th, okay? And that's going to be 7.007, all right? Just down. There we go. Okay. 
Now, let's just say we have um, a number like this. So this may follow you up a little bit. 55.32, let's say. And we want to write, let's say we want to write that in scientific notation. Okay. Well, again, the decimal is starting here, so we just need to move it over one place. Okay. So that's going to be um, times 10 to the first power. Okay. And how many, uh, and what, what is the number? So it's actually going to be 5.532. All right. So, of course, if we multiply this out, anytime you multiply by factors of 10, you move the decimal to the right, the number um, of zeros that there are. Okay, well, there's one zero because 10 to the first is 10. If it was 10 squared, it'd be 100, so there's two zeros, so you'd move it two places to the right. So this would just end up being 55.32, the number that we began with. Okay? All right, now let's take a look at, and one thing, notice, so this value, this value, and this value are all between 1 and 10, okay? It can equal 1, but it can equal 10. So that's important to pay attention to. All right, so let's look at some smaller values. So let's see, do this one, 0.3. Four, five. Okay, and we want to write this in scientific notation. I forgot my zero there. Okay, so we want to write this in scientific notation. Notice this is a small number. It's a number less than one. So I know my exponent on the 10 is going to be negative. Okay, so we need to move this way to get it to be a number between 1 and 10. So we moved it over twice, right? One, two. So it's going to be times 10 to the negative 2 power. Okay? And it would be 3.45. Okay? Again, negative exponent, a number less than 1. Okay? Let's look at a real small number. Okay, let's say we have um, 0 0.0000031. Okay. All right. So we need to move the decimal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. So that's going to be times 10 to the minus 7, all right? And then it's just going to be 3.1, okay? Again, how did I know it's going to be a negative exponent? Because it's an, a small number, a number less than 1, all right? Okay, let's look at um, this here. Let, let, let's try to trick you a little bit. Let's say we have 0.0. 0, 0.073 times 10 to the minus 3. We want to write this in scientific notation. And you might say, hey, well, it already is in scientific notation. Well, it's not in the right form because this value right here, remember the capital N that we had? That capital N needs to be between 1 and 10. So it can equal 1 but it can equal 10. Well, this surely is not between 1 and 10. It's actually less than 1. So what we need to do is we need to move the decimal one, two places to the right. So this now would be 7.3, okay? So just this part would be 7.3 times 10 to the minus 2, right? But then we still have this part, so it's times 10 to the minus 3. Well, we know now our law of exponents. We have the same base of 10. So if you take 10 to the minus 2 times 10 to the minus 3, remember you add 
these exponents together. So we're going to get 7.3 times 10 to the negative fifth power. Okay? And this is in the correct form for scientific notation. All right? It follows this right here. Okay? All right. How about let's do the opposite. Let's say we have a larger number. Let's say we have 154.3 times 10 to the 17th. And you might say, hey, that, that's in scientific notation. Well, yeah, it is in scientific notation, but it's not in the proper form for scientific notation. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to get this value between 1 and 10. So to do that, we're going to move 1, 2 to the left. So this will be times 10 to the second power. Remember, it's a positive exponent because this was a number greater than 1. All right. And it's going to be 1.543. <coughs> Excuse me. Then times 10 to the 17th power. Okay. Well, these two right here, we use our law of exponents. And we can say that this is 1.543 times 10 to what power? Well, 2 plus 17 is 19. Okay? All right. So let's look at um, a couple of different scenarios. Let, let's say we want to go the opposite. All right. Let's say we want to convert from scientific notation to um, standard notation. Okay. So let's say we want to convert scientific notation to standard. notation. Okay? All right. Well, <clears throat> again, there's this moving the decimal from the left to the right. You can memorize that, but again, if you just remember negative exponents are small numbers, positive exponents are for the large numbers. So let's say we have 1.15 times 10 to the minus 3. And we want to write this in just standard notation, right? So we know that this is going to be a number less than 1. Well, I can't. Let me, let me write over here 1.15. If you move it to the right, okay, three places, all right, representing that 3 there, you might think, oh, is it negative to the right, negative to the left? Well, just remember that this is a small number. So if I move this three places to the right, one, two, three, and I have to attach a zero, this is not a small number anymore. It's 1,150, okay? So you know you have to go um, to the left, all right? So this has to go one two, three to the left, so I fill in my zeros here and put my decimal place. So this is 0 0.00115, okay? And this is my standard notation, all right? So let's look at this one. About 1.2 times 10 to the third power, okay? We want to write this in standard notation. Okay, well remember, positive exponent means it's a large number greater than 1. Okay, well you might get confused, let's go over here and say, oh shoot, do I move it to the left, do I move it to the right, depending if it's positive or negative. Well let's say you did the incorrect way and you move to the left, 1, 2, 3. Well that's a number that's less than 1, and we know that the positive exponent has to be a number greater than 1, so you know this is not right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move this, I'll do it right here, 1.2, 
So we're going to move it one, two, three. Put the decimal there. So I got to fill in those placeholders with zeros. So this is actually 1,200. That's what that represents. Okay? So why don't you try this one? Let's say we have 7 times 10 to the minus 6th. Okay? <coughs> Go ahead and pause your screen for a second and write this in standard notation. And then when you're done, unclick the pause button. Okay, so this is a negative exponent. We know this has got to be a number less than one, so I'm going to move the decimal to the left six times. So where is the decimal to begin with? Well, it's right here, seven point, right? So I got to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Put my decimal there. I'll put a decimal to the, or sorry, a zero to the left of the decimal, just to let you know there's a decimal there. And then fill in the zeros here. Okay, so this is actually going to be 0 0.00007. Okay, all right. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about is for some calculations. All right, so if you're going to multiply two numbers together that are written in scientific notation form or divide two numbers together that are in scientific notation form. How do you deal with that? So let, let's look at both scenarios. So if I have a times 10 to the m power and then that's all multiplied by b times 10 to the n power, that's simply going to be your a times your b Okay, times 10, but we know our law of exponents, we, we just add them together. So it's 10 to the m plus n. Simple as that. Okay, so let's, let's look at an example. So let's say we're going to multiply 4.1 4 uh, times 10 to the minus 3 times 3.4 times 10 to the fourth power. Okay? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the 4.1 times the 3.4. So if you do that, that equals 13.94. Uh, okay? And then that's times 10. Well, then it's negative 3 plus 4, right? So that's 13.94 times 10 to the first power. So you might say, oh, I'm done. No, you're not done because remember, this has to be a value between 1 and 10. Okay? Not including 10, but uh, it can include 1. So what I have to do, and this is kind of like one of the similar examples that we did, is I need to move this or, or convert this to the correct value of n. So I need to move this over one place. Okay? So this is going to be 1.394 times 10. Okay? It's going to be a negative or positive exponent. Well, this was a large number. So it's going to be a positive exponent, right? And then this, this comes down times 10 to the first. So we don't want to leave it like that. We need to combine these two together, right? So this is going to be 1.394 times 10 squared. Okay? All right. Um, Let's look at 1 for uh, division, okay? So the rule for division, uh, pretty much the same type of notation. So if we have a times 
10 to the m divided by b times 10 to the n. Okay? So this is just simply going to be your a divided by your b, and then that result times 10 to the m minus n, right? Our law of exponents, same base, we subtract m minus n, okay? And we just want to make sure, remember, that this a over b is a number between 1 and 10, not including 10, but it can include 1, all right? So let's do an example. <clears throat> So here we have, uh, let's say, 7.2 times 10 to the 6th power over 1.2 times 10 to the 8th power. Well, obviously, the 10 to the 8th is going to be a much bigger, it's going to be a much bigger value in the denominator, right? So your number will end up being less than 1. Okay, but even if you didn't know that, let's just go through the motion. So if I go 7.2 divided by 1.2, that ends up being, um, I'll, I'll write it out here, 7.2 divided by 1.2 times 10 to the what? 6 subtract 8 is negative 2, right? So if I continue this, 7.2 divided by 1.2 is going to be 6. So it's 6 times 10 to the negative 2 power. All right. And um, <clears throat> what we want to do, or, and, then, then, and then that's it. There we go. We have it in scientific notation. So we didn't have to make any adjustment like we did on the, the previous one. Okay. Um, Let's do one where we, we where we actually have to make an adjustment. Okay, so let's let's do another division one. So let's take two point four seven times ten to the fifth, right, and divide that by three point eight times ten to the negative fifth. Okay. So again, this just equals 2.47 divided by 3.8, right, times 10 to what power? Well, it's 5 subtract a negative 5, right? So 5 minus a minus 5, okay? Well, <clears throat> Just take your calculator, 2.47 divided by 3.8, and that's 0 0.65 times 10 to the 10th power, okay? Well, you might think you're done, but this is not in scientific notation because it needs to be a number between 1 and 10, and it can include 1 but not include 10, right? So what I need to do is move this one decimal to the right. Well, this is a number, 0.65, is a number that's less than 1. So you know that your exponent has to be negative. So it's going to be 6.5 times 10 to the negative 1, okay, times 10 to the tenth power. So combining these two together using our law of exponents, so that's just going to be 6.5 times 10 to the ninth power. Now let's say we wanted to write this in um, standard notation. Notation. Okay. All right. So how do we do that? Well, this is 6.5, right? We have to move the decimal because it's a large number. Again, positive exponent, large number. We got to move it nine places to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
we got to fill in all of our zeros here. Okay. So a really big number. Okay. So let's just rewrite it here. So 6, 5. And then there's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Zero. So let's put our commas in. All right. So it looks like 6 uh, <coughs> billion 500 million. Okay. And one last little thing I want to just throw out there for you is when you have like 10 to the minus 1 or 10 to the negative 2 and 10 to the negative 3. Well, what is this? Remember if we use our, our um, negative exponent rule, this is 1 over 10, which is 1 tenth or 0 0.1. Well, what is this? It's 1 over 10 squared, which is 1 over 100, which is 0 0.01, and so on. This is 1 over 10 cubed, which is 1 over 1,000, which is 1 one thousandths, which is 0 0.001, tens, hundreds, thousands, right? So you know, think about this, when you have a negative exponent, you're dividing by, you're dividing by a larger number, so that's going to, of course, make your number smaller, right? And then just the opposite, you know, 10 to the first we know is just 10. 10 squared is 10 times 10 is 100, okay, 10, oops, 10 cubed is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. So when you're multiplying by 10 to a positive exponent, you're making that number bigger. That's why positive exponents deal with larger numbers negative exponents to deal with smaller numbers because you're dividing by a value which is making the number smaller. Okay? Alright, so that's it on scientific notation.